In the final video of this 10 part series, I want to show you a few small touches that will help add a little style and flair to your hub. I'm Jonathan Fletcher. I teach geography and geospatial technologies at Port Coburn High School in Port Coburn, Ontario, Canada. I teach GIS. Open your hub by clicking on the waffle. Click on the hub icon. Now, let's get to work. Click the row edit button on the right side. Under the background image, select browse for image. Pick your image, go to the next row and repeat the process, adding the same images. The message will say image already exists. Choose the option use existing. The images will appear as separate copies of the same image. Below the image on the left side, it says fixed background. Toggle this over. Do this for all the adjoining images and it will appear as one large background image. Make sure you save your draft, publish it, and then view publish to see what it looks like. Your cards will now appear to float on top of the image. I'm going to add another row. This time, I am going to add the people card. I'm going to search for my profile so that I can attach that so people can see who I am. As well, it'll have links to my email address. I add a heavy shadow effect to make it pop. To give my hub a little distinction, let's add a logo. Click Customize, then Header. Below Logo, select Upload. Select your image. Now you have a logo in the top left. Do you want your followers to know when you make updates? Select the Follow initiative and drag it into the row. You can change the message in the Call to Action box on the left. Save your work, publish it, and view Published to see what it looks like. Let's go to the end of the document. If you look at the bottom, there is a generic footer here. You can customize this footer using HTML. But right now, for simplicity, we're just going to get rid of it. As always, make sure you save your work. Let's add another row. And then this time, we're going to add a video. Scroll to the bottom. Select the video card. Paste the URL of the video you want to include. Save your work and preview the draft. While this series demonstrates many of the tools, there are many more ways to personalize your hub, especially if you edit in HTML. You've made it to the end of the Learn How to Make a Hub video series. Congratulations.